which I know by Limerick under 20s manager Dermot Mullins Dermot it's a tough loss obviously but like you know, you're still in the competition yeah, well, look, we knew before tonight that we needed to get one win from the two remaining games. But look, we were intent on trying to get the win tonight. But definitely, you know, our first half performance wasn't good enough at all. Um, in terms of like we had some an awful lot of wides in the first half. We actually had an awful lot of possession, but uh, still didn't play well. And, and like, you know, we left ourselves an awful lot to do in the second half. But the lads fought, you know, hugely in the second half. And, you know, we probably had enough chances at the end to even at least get a draw or maybe try and, try and get a win. So I'm really proud of the... Um, lads' efforts in the, in the second half. Um, look, we put a lot of things right in the second half, but look, we, we have to go now next week and we have to get a win at home against Cork or else the, the season's over and that's, that's the reality for it and that's the way a championship should be, I suppose, when you get to this stage. What do you put that first half performance down to? Like, kind of came from nowhere, really, didn't it? Well, we just didn't compete. We, you know, Tipperary uh, were more physical and aggressive than we were in the first half. Um, you know, we, we allowed them to get clean possession really from puck out. We didn't get the ball to, to ground. We just didn't play with the usual aggression that we that we have. Uh, and then, I suppose, secondly, you know, I think we had 13 wides at, at half time. So definitely some of our shot selection and our execution, like one nine to two points. And to have that amount of wides, you know, I'm not saying that we were anywhere near being ahead at half time or anything like that, but we should have been a lot closer with the possession that we have. And that showed in the second half when we did play with more aggression and, and that's that's what we needed to bring to the game and we went really at it in the second half and attacked everything we, we got a value from doing that Good impact Dermot from the bench I, I suppose that must be a positive maybe coming in coming in on the, on the back of a defeat Yeah look we've a very um, competitive panel we've lads who didn't make the 26 who are dying to make the 26 as well um, and look some guys just didn't work out for them to, to, tonight in the in the first half and that's fine look we have to give other lads an opportunity but I thought the lads to come on you know Oshin played very well I thought Khan played very very well uh, when he came on Mikey Gavin contributed as well Liam came on at the end so you know we, we try to get bodies on to improve the team and I think we did um, by and large but look we need a way uh, better effort next week and, uh, and you know we need to 60 minutes against you know Cork are now qualified for the final so they've been the best team in the group stages so look that's going to be a real challenge for us next week the, the result, the, sorry, next week the result. It's very simple. There's no, you know, we need to do this or that. It's very simple. You just win the game. So you'd hope that that would focus the minds, maybe from from even before the game, but, but from whistle one, rest until the last. Oh yeah, look. Uh, this time next week we're either in or out, and um, that's going to be the the, the reality. But um, look, we're going to have to have a, a, a way better performance. But the lads can give that performance. And as I said, you know, it would have been e an easy option at half time to hide and not. You know, keep at the keep at the game and, and go go at it and like in the you know in the second half there's plenty of positives there and we're gonna to have to build in those positives. Finally doing it. Uh Liam Lynch injured before the game. Obviously Adam um coming off during the game. Tough loss losing Adam at that stage in the game as well. Is there any update on it? Yeah, well look Liam got injured uh, in a league game um and he's he's hopefully you know he's coming back whether he'll be back for next Friday night we'll have to see because we have to be careful our own players that we don't you know they're still young players and it would be reckless now to uh, to have him involved if he's not clear by the medical team, uh, Adam took a uh, had a bit of a knock on, he, on his ankle. We just have to assess that, and obviously, you know, he's a loss. Um, but I thought the lads adjusted re really, really well. So look, we'll see how Adam Adam is um, during the week. We'd love to have him uh, available for next week, and look, if he's fit and ready to go, he'll be a plus for us. You know.